uh, also here, and Bill Johnson from Clearwater, uh, all on the PSPA board. Um, uh, and I also want to uh, welcome the mayor of St. Pete Beach, uh, Mr. Bill McFarland. Uh, Steve. Steve McFarland. Why is that? Uh, well, uh, uh, um, I, it's a fantastic uh, new service that we're going to kick off, that we're kicking off today. It's, it's great to be at a uh, place along uh, Central Avenue for the kickoff. Uh, of course, we're uh, uh, launching the Central Avenue trolley. Uh, uh, but what I'm going to consider, even though this has been in the planning for a long time, a very long time, uh, much longer than I've been living in Florida, I'm going to take full credit for it. <laughs> uh, uh, and it, because it really, so far, pretty much uh, uh, defines my uh, life so far in the last three months. Uh, uh, when I interviewed for the job back in April, uh, my wife and I decided, well, gosh, it's Florida. Uh, if I uh, get the job, we're going to be going crazy anyway, but if I don't get the job, we might as well hang out at the beach. <laughs> so we uh, we booked a hotel down in St. Pete Beach uh, for the, my interview, uh, <coughs> uh, for right after the interview. Oh, and so, of course, then I did get the job randomly, and uh, <laughs> uh, so I was on the phone with the attorney with uh, lovely palm trees and the beach, and not only was I the only guy wearing a tie, I was the only guy wearing a shirt <laughs> uh, or shoes. It was kind of a surreal event, but that started, and then uh, just yesterday we closed on a house in uh, uh, near downtown St. Petersburg. Uh, my daughter has her dance lessons on Central Avenue. Uh, we've gone to uh, several different raised games along the corridor. We've gone out to many different restaurants, and uh, my in-laws are in town, so we're going out tonight uh, to <laughs> along Central Avenue. I mean, it's pretty much where I hang out. Uh, and uh, um, so I'm very excited that we now have a, uh, a single trolley line. Uh, even today and tomorrow, the last two days, uh, if you start at the pier, right now you have to, you have to take three different uh, trolleys and buses uh, to get from uh, uh, the bay to the beaches. And that's all going to change uh, with this new Central Avenue trolley. You'll be able to take one trolley uh, connecting downtown St. Petersburg all the way down to the hurricane uh, in, in Paso Grande. Uh, and that, that, that's going to be a fantastic connection for both those uh, major areas. And I think it's uh, just like what I know uh, transit can do uh, and will do, it helps define and connect the corridor for, uh, for to, to go to places and to uh, promote the businesses along the route. Uh, people will ride it and shop and eat and come to uh, performances here at the Free Fall Theater. And it's great that we're able to do that. We're also extending the hours in later into the evening. Uh, and so you can, uh, instead of just going to the baseball game and having to walk home like I did once with my kids, uh, you can uh, actually take the trolley back home. Uh, as long as it doesn't go into like 17 anymore. Uh, certainly this has been a, a fantastic, uh, a lot of work and effort by uh, the PSTA staff, and I certainly want to thank them. Uh, from our scheduling folks to our marketing folks and our facility folks who I saw have already put up all the bus stop signs and gotten out all working. These, uh, our maintenance folks have done a great job getting the trolleys ready. Um, I want to thank and acknowledge the folks, uh, the staff at uh, the city of St. Petersburg who have worked uh, great with us as well as uh, 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 Mike Bonfield and the uh, and, uh, city of St. Pete Beach and Treasure Island for working with us on this project. Um, but again, it's really about uh, connecting and, uh, and getting the businesses going. So you're going to hear just a, a few words from the, the chamber folks. But first, let me uh, pass it on uh, to uh, our new chair, Jeff Danner, for a couple. Thank you. Uh, Brad's right. This has been a, uh, a kind of a long process, but I think everyone in this room had some hand in, in helping make take this. Uh, take shape and come to fruition. We've got, you know, the, the beaches, the, the St. Pete Chamber, the Beaches Chamber, um, several different cities, everyone really involved. I think this is going to be a fantastic connection. You can put the resources and all the assets we have on the beach, tied in with downtown, and then really 
using Central Avenue as that route to do it. We've got a lot of things working on on Central Avenue. And, um, not only what's going on here with the West Central Business District that's forming, the Grand Central District has been working on, on improving and making things happen in there. The Dome District is revital revitalizing itself. Councilmember Kern is trapped today. You'll, you'll see later if we go up to Ferg with the uh, Folk Fest. The streets are blocked and that's all getting set up for tomorrow so she couldn't be here. Councilman Polson's been working on, on this and it's, it's really just really enhancing this corridor and there's really every single thing along this route that anybody could want to do. When we were putting this together talking with some of the, the beaches on the beach, I said, you know, when I travel I do what the chamber wants and you go the Dali and the Chihuly and all the big attractions and then when you're done with that, then you want to go find the local hamburger and the local music place and the galleries and antique shops and I think that's what we've got here is that opportunity to shop and art walk and gallery and pub crawl and do all those things all the way down Central Avenue, seven and a half miles of small businesses connecting our downtown and our beaches. It's going to be fantastic.